The reports came out on the same day Governor Walker came to Ashwaubenon to promote job growth. He visited M&M Tool and Mold as part of a manufacturing tour. And at that stop, Governor Walker maintained he is committed to job growth and Wisconsin. Some Democrats, though, have their concerns. They are using the job numbers and rumors about a possible presidential run to criticize the governor. Fox's Eric Peterson has balanced coverage. But first off, I just at M&M Tool and Mold in Ashwaubenon, Governor Scott Walker defended his efforts to create jobs. He said the national numbers are six months old. Obviously, the, the first two years you had through June of last year, you had uh, recalls, protests, recalls on top of that. So a lot of uncertainty, which drove uh, the first year and a half, uh, the three months after that. Uh, you've still got a pace where a lot of employers are trying to catch up from all the uncertainty that happened. Well, it's disappointing, but not surprising. Huh? Democratic State Representative Eric Genrick says the governor is taking the economy in the wrong direction. Our hope is that the governor um, chooses to change course here and, and really invest in middle class priorities, um, affordable health care, public education, and, and real middle class tax relief. Governor Walker is also working on a new book. A lot of people were interested in what happened the last couple of years here in Wisconsin. Unintimidated, a governor's story and a nation's challenge is due out later this year, but not everyone is on board with the idea of Walker's new book. Democrats say the governor should fix business at home first. I think there are other lessons to be learned by his example that, um, you know, he's really failed to, to create jobs failed to unify the state. As far as running for president? Based on his history here and um, you know his track record, I, I don't, he doesn't seem like presidential material to me. I love being governor. It's, it's a lot just about what I've done as governor and what impact that has, again, not only in Wisconsin, but on other places across the country. In Ashwaubenon, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Now, former speechwriter for President George W. Bush will help write Governor Walker's book.